Lanza here. I am sciencing out the new, well, to me, it's new reticule for uh, the JGX that you can apply on on um, recursion. So I'm just kind of testing it out. 390. See if it's worth anything. It's, it seems to be getting close, so I just really need to shape up and sight in. I think what it comes down to. But, yeah, it's... Things are happening really fast for me to just, um... To know how to handle this right off the bat. So, 280... This seems to be my faster targeting acquire, which the other way I have to kind of look at my mini map, look here, but with with um, sweeper, I can just see how far away they are and then tag that to there it is. Okay, tag that to what it is I'm seeing in third person. So that's actually that's pretty useful. Gonna wait for him to crest right here. Oh, he's not cresting? Okay. He's a prowler. What's up? What's up? I'm... Alright. I was wondering if I was gonna win that. Oh, dear. Not that one, though. I, I think each one has a really strong case for it. The, this one, the color-coded one, is much more useful, I'd say, when it comes to being self-sufficient. What I mean, mean by that is I really only need to... I don't even have to really use my mini-map. I can... Sweet. I guess. Sorry. I don't even have to really use my mini map if I don't want to. And that, that's slowing me down by using this one. But looking to see which color sector they're in and then trying to measure that against my my line color. That's that's really slowing me down. So right now they're in between yellow. So then I have to kind of do this and then bam Will it will it meet it? Will it not? Oh, okay. It did halfway. I have to kind of account for the, the adjustment What? The? <laughs> so I'm really trying to see which one's more useful in more cases. Harassers? Okay. I like using third person. Third person seems to be the way to go here. This is good, but I'm not really using Beyond Line of Sight or anything like that. I'm just kind of trying to fight in real time. Oof. Oh, behind me. Nice. Good move. Hmm. I want to use the color because it seems to be better all around, but this metered half moon seems to be not only faster but more precise i don't know though we'll, we'll see again i'm using the lightning which this reticle is not made for so i have to make kind of on the fly adjustments for this to be helpful two 
250. Oh, a little bit less. Okay. I bet I can hit him right now. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> Yep, there we go. Hit him. Okay, so this is this is working out for me. This is working out. It's it's still a little little sketch in my book, but it's working. 150. Okay. I just have to kind of trust the numbers and then just go at it, make my my on the spot adjustment. That's that's just kind of where I am with it. That's that's working. That's working. Now let's switch it up to the other reticule. The color one. Alright. I'm really just I'm not even looking at my mini-map at this point. Nice. So I'm using the red right now as kind of my... <laughs> he shot his friend. Yeah, it happens. Oh, no. I, uh, I drug clicked. That's not good. Whatever. Ooh. Red again. Red seems to be the boss on this one. Okay, not that one. Let's try upper teal. Dang. Mid teal. Okay, I, I like both of them. It seems that the, the metered one is better for target, faster target acquisition at longer ranges. Whereas I think if I, oh, you gotta be careful, man. I think if I were to figure out why is that not destroying you it's weird I think if I were to really commit to the color one I could probably wing this one better ah actually I might be able to hit you right there nope I need a little bit of teal a little bit of teal come on I, I know I can get you I know it. Okay. Well, didn't get you, but I honestly I didn't I didn't know that this was a thing. I didn't know you could get custom reticles like that. That's just that's cool. That's beyond cool. That saves me a lot of target acquisition time. And apparently it's okay. Like I I read up on it a little bit and there's the devs are not against this. Whoops. What up, bro? Uh, I see that. I see what you're after. Oh, hello. And I could just shoot over this vanguard. That's good. And now the vanguard's taking the damage for me. That's even better. Man, this... I'm really liking the JGX. I'm really liking it. So I'm using my reticule, my color, coded. Ouch. To do the most damage here. Oi! That might have been my problem the whole time. The zoom. I didn't even think about that. So let's try you. You're purple. No. Now you're at orange. So, the zoom is probably the reason why, in my minimap, the reason why this is not working as well. So, you're at orange. Let's try max. You're still, you're moving. This is requiring me to science in VR training. I'm going to need to do that, because I forgot that this, 
the mini map will distort the dimensions if I zoom different. Mm. I like the color coding. The color seems to be a better, even faster than the using the meter, but slightly less accurate. And I'm willing to bet at range. If I can get to the point where I can compensate for the, have, not having the meter for this one, then I think I'm going to be a lot better with the color. Okay, so that one probably needs a teal. Oof, no. It's a halfway is what it needed. So yeah, I'm gonna probably end it here because I'm eager to go to VR training and, and try and figure that out. Which zoom do I need to be in order to quickly long range? So then I would say that rock, purple, purple, and then just figure out at what point can I, how do I need to compensate to hit that rock? That's gonna be interesting to figure out because I'm going to need flexibility. So if I'm trying to hit the rock at purple, then I need to know if I can't see here, I need to quickly move to zoom so that I can get to purple and then shoot over the tree. But I can't do that if I don't know how to make on the fly adjustments. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I like both of them. They each have a distinct way of getting shots on target. So I need to do a, a bit more thorough testing to really optimize to see which one I like better. But I honestly did not know this was a thing. Someone responded back to one of my Reddit posts that I should just use the JGX reticle for recursion tracker. And I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> In my quality of life video, I talked about how the, the under shadow of the reticule for recursion tracker was really helpful on live because of you know, just traversing across the different, like here, the different topography and how that will sometimes make me lose my reticle in the center. But with the shadow underneath it from recursion, it really distinguished it every time. So I never lost it. But this reticle is an adjustment of that to make it a vehicle. Had no idea that was a thing, but now I do. And Let's try and optimize for it because I think this can have some pretty wide application if I were to get a squad of you know, JGXs and we all optimize to long range artillery where we can be online to sight something even though we can't see it. That would be awesome. I know there's an answer here. It's just how how deep down the rabbit hole do I have to go? Let's kill this guy first. Can we get him? Can we get him? Oh, got him. All right. That's a good way to end it. So. Good times. All right, see you.